All right, so we're up here, Jones Creek again, coming from the opposite side with a different mindset because I just went into my first off-road ride with way more confidence than skill. It's because I used to be a pretty good dirt bike rider, but uh, I guess I'm not now. But it was muddy. The Dunlop 606 front is known for not being good in the mud. On top of that, I was running kind of a intermediate tire pressure because I was worried about getting pinch flats because I know it's rocky out here. But now that I know what I know about myself, I don't think I'm fast enough to get a pinch flat unless I'm doing something really stupid. And it's still probably too much air, but I really don't want to pump the tires up to ride home. Because the little hand pump I have is trash. Well, it's not trash. It's just not made for a motorcycle. It's a little bicycle pump. Uh, where is my other valve stand? Motherfucker. Bugs in my eyes. Alright, anyway. Oh, that's the biggest mosquito I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. But, uh, here at the, uh, Start of my first trail of the day. I'm doing four by four trails today, today to uh, try to get better at dirt bike riding before I go to the actual dirt bike trails because it seems like they'll be easier and also have some really cool views. I've been watching videos on YouTube. They look easier than the bike trails, but also that might have just been the perspective of when I thought I was an awesome dirt bike rider still. We'll see how she goes. Wish me luck. It's kind of annoying. I'm not used to getting an adrenaline rush when I ride. I just had like the biggest adrenaline dump. Like even when I'm going fast as I can on the road, 
on a supermoto or my mt10 and pff, adrenaline no that's like my zen zone dude i'm fucking like jacked up right now <sighs> so. You heavy bitch. That's stupid. I'm like basically at the bottom. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought the uphills were gonna be what took me out. Not <sighs> plenty of time still for that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go back up this on my way back out. I think I'm on an out and back trail system right now. <sighs> Somehow it does look easier than when I came down. But I mean, it, from the top, it didn't look too bad coming down either. So I'm just slow out of shape and out of practice. Oh boy. I don't think these gloves are staying cinched, are they? Whatever, I don't care.
God dang it. I went to put my foot down and there's just nothing there. That sucks. Fuck. Tripping now. <sighs> yeah, just lift up the back of the bike. Dumbass. Man. I'm running out of fun here. <sighs> Good view though. Okay, this is break time again. I'm annoyed now.
Oh, that's a view. Damn, son. Whoa. Is that the Three Sisters way out yonder? What the hell? No way I can see that from here. Maybe I can, I don't know. That's crazy. What a beautiful day. Yeah, bust out the phone and take some snaps from up right here. Hell yeah. Man, I wish I had some music, but uh, damn, that hill looks long ago. My speaker's cardo system wouldn't work with this helmet. Dude, that looks like a fucking climb. I think this was the way I thought I was going to get off this trail. Uh, I still might be able to, but fucking A. Check the map. Alright, yeah, map. Looks like it says it goes this way. It looks rideable. Just looks like you're not supposed to ride it. And also... Oh, maybe it's just to keep, like, incapable vehicles from coming down onto a trail. It's just, like, it's kind of fucked up, but it's not too bad. Alright, let's go up that way. Hopefully I don't have to turn around, because I really don't want to go do all that the other way. Even that, even the bottom of that motorcycle bypass looks like it'd be hairy. It's supposed to be green circle. Someone fucked it up. Dick. 